When a voltage is applied to a parallel plate capacitor using some voltage source, charge will be built up on both plates of the parallel plate capacitor. There will be positive net charge on the plate that's attached to the positive pole of the voltage source and negative charge on the plate that's connected to the negative pole of the voltage source. And this charge, of course, since both plates have a net charge, they'll attract each other since their charges are opposite. They're equal and opposite. The amount of charge on each plate is given by this equation. So we know the charge given the capacitance of the capacitor, and the capacitor is given by this equation. It's epsilon naught A over D. A is the area of one of the plates. D is the distance between the plates. So we know how much charge is on there. We should be able to calculate what the attractive force should be between the plates. And here's the setup. Here's the parallel plate capacitor. It's uh, two pieces of styrofoam with aluminum foil glued to one side. So the aluminum foil are the two plates. They're separated. We're going to set it at one centimeter of separation. And we can adjust that using these three winches. And the more accurately adjusted, the better the results are going to be. Here's the power supply. It's a kilovolt power supply. And you can see when I turn this up, it goes up to about 6.16 kilovolts or so. 6160 volts, so this is fairly high voltage here. And it's connected to the parallel plate capacitor according to this diagram. So here's the kilovolt power supply. There's a one giga ohm resistor right there. That's just in there to protect the power supply from having to provide too much current. Here is the, uh, the capacitor, the parallel plate capacitor, and then it goes back to the power supply. So the way we're going to measure the force is the bottom plate of the capacitor is sitting on this digital scale. This scale can very accurately measure the amount of weight that's on it. And of course when the power is on, the charge will, the plates will attract each other and the bottom plate will be pulled up and that should be, and that'll register on the, the milligram scale. So what we're going to do is is test this equation. This is the first page of the write-up and this equation is derived on here. This should be the force. It's proportional to the square of the of the voltage and what we're actually going to do is measure the forces for a bunch of different voltages, square the voltage, and plot force as a function of voltage. And according to this equation that should make a straight line plot. And then the slope of that line should be this part right here, from which you're going to derive, knowing A and D, you're going to derive epsilon naught. And of course that should be close to the known uh, book value of epsilon naught. So this is how this experiment is going to work.